we care about this because it's the oldest park in Portland, 1866. Just imagine 1866, July 4th, when a fire right here blazed from the ocean right up onto what Franklin Street is now. So the park afterwards was built as a fire break. It was named Phoenix Square, rising from the ashes. A year later, 1967, 1867, it was renamed Lincoln Park in honor of President Abraham Lincoln. I'm Frank Riley. Um, they call me the chief spear carrier for Friends of Lincoln Park. It is Friday, October the 2nd, Friday, first Friday Art Walk. And tonight represents the third year to the night that we began the Friends of Lincoln Park. And Alison Hildreth was here at that time talking, giving everyone a little understanding of Lincoln Park. And that started the whole process of why we're here tonight. Allison? Well, um, Frank is our hero, really. Oh, he came that okay. night. Um, I was here because I'm a member of the Portland Public Art Committee, and the fountain is part of our collection. And Frank took a look at the park and thought the park needs some help, and he has been valiant in getting people from the city together and citizens together. And this is the way things happen, really, isn't it? You um, care about something, and you try and make something happen. And so with the help of the Portland Public Art Committee and Friends of Lincoln Park, I hope we can complete, restore the fountain to its former beautiful self. So we can call it Hello Beautiful again, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Because... The, the photographs are so dramatic of, of the way the park used to be and the people that used to come to the park. And um, there is, it's, it's just sadly neglected and we need to do something. Sharon, my wife and partner in crime, and I actually went into the fountain, there was no water in it, <laughs> and found the insignia on the fountain of the um, foundry in France. Val Duson, Sharon? Val Duson. And I emailed the gallery, and it is, it's now a gallery. It, it's no longer a foundry. But the, the building and it was still there. They understood what it used to be and how they would cast these beautiful fountains in the 1800s and then ship them all over. I'd like to introduce my wife and partner in crime especially with friends of Lincoln Park, Sharon Riley. And uh, we worked together. And did, did you ever imagine when we walked into that pond three years ago and <laughs> found the insignia that we'd be here tonight and it would be so much to do? <laughs> I know. I thought we'd have it all done by now, actually. <laughs> yes, I know. It's a slow process. We were very naive, weren't we? But yeah. what a pleasure it's been. Uh, to work on this for three years, and excuse me, the starting of the third year, um, with so many people who really love the park. There's a dedicated group of people who really want to see the park and the fountain be restored. Yeah, and that's a good point. It, that, that kind of enthusiasm excites us and motivates us to, to carry on and to press forward. Well, it's, it's, a, it's a task that's very large and uh, it involves the city and various different departments and uh, various groups and so it's not something uh, that we can do uh, oh, solely no. the way we're used to doing things. Yeah. No, <laughs> so. you need cooperation from everyone, especially the city people and they have been wonderful like with Jeff and uh, Troy and Deb Andrews and now the new city manager now, John Jennings. Uh, you and know, Mayor Brennan. And Mayor Brennan has been wonderful. In fact, he's invited to join us today. We have 13 new benches all around the park, thanks to the Gorham Bank. Uh, that was their donation. And then there are three others somewhere that uh, the Keep, Keeping, America. Keep America Beautiful, Beautiful donated. And what, Jeff? Three trees, right? From Keep America Beautiful. So there's some progress. I'd like to introduce Jeff Tarling, 
city arborist for Portland and a true friend of the Friends of Lincoln Park. Thanks, Frank. Um, we've had a long collaboration here in Lincoln Park, working with the Friends. It started three years ago uh, in the park tonight. Tonight? Mm -hmm. And uh, we made some great progress with the Portland Arts Committee and also the Portland Historic Preservation trying to get some momentum to re restore their park. It was formerly Phoenix Square, and it's Portland's oldest park. So, you know, we made good progress, and it's great having friends and, and people in Portland that, that have the same vision. I'd like to introduce Sally Oldman. Um, she's with the Greater Portland Landmarks. Correct. And a friend of Lincoln Park. Would you like to say anything about Lincoln Park? Uh, well, I would just say I'm very excited that there is a group of citizens who are really working to revitalize this park and, and make it much more vital part of our city yeah. because it should be. Well, your <laughs> enthusiasm, <wonderful> your enthusiasm, <laughs> Sally, and your support helps tremendously. Yeah. I'd like to introduce you to two very special friends of Lincoln Park, Tim Honequest to my right and to his right, Marvin Olson. Do you want to say anything, gentlemen? Well, we're happy to be here. And we hope to see as much done in Lincoln Park as possible because it's a viable location in the city. Thank you. We agree. We're in total agreement. <laughs> it's a very special pleasure and honor for me to present uh, someone who's not only a friend to Lincoln Park, but a friend to all of Portland, uh, Hillary Bassett, the director of Greater uh, Portland Landmarks. Hillary, would you want to say something? Wonderful <laughs> to be here in Lincoln Park, which is a true hidden gem of Portland. I think people don't realize once you get into the park how it's a large space, and it's really getting there, thanks to Frank and Sharon Riley and the Friends of Lincoln Park. The park is starting to get revived, getting the fountain going again, the benches, having activities here. It's just a great, great uh, turn of events here. There's also some great potential with Franklin Arterial, the plans yes. now for Franklin Arterial to narrow down the road corridor and to have Lincoln Park come back to its former size. So I think this will be, I think Portlanders are in for a great treat in coming to Lincoln Park and the new developments that are happening here. The Franklin Street plan goes through. It will enhance the park again, as Hillary said, because we'll reclaim the land that, you know, belongs to Lincoln Park and it will jut out and the traffic will just meander around it. So it will really get the park to its former, former, almost its former extent. Yeah, and, and, and once again it will be considered the top of the city. That's what it was called when it first uh, was um, built. It's, it's a wonderful amenity for the city yeah. and I think all the projects yeah. with the art and the benches and getting the fountain going, uh, repaving the pathways. All of that. It's All just of it. fabulous. Yeah. And Hillary and uh, Greater Portland Landmarks also um, proclaimed Lincoln Park an in, in peril uh, location, which helps us because it gives, I think, a little more urgency right. to I, our needs. <laughs> I think it really yeah. is. It's, it's one of those, it is a place in peril in the sense that it had been neglected for so long. And having a friends group now that is so active and Mm. Uh, making sure that there's an advocate for the park. Yes, yes. And Landmarks uh, is very strongly behind the project and behind the friends and all the fundraising and all the good event planning that they're doing, master planning. Mm. It's, it's just a great, great project. Well, thank you, Hillary, for your help and your enthusiasm and support. It's my honor to introduce his honor, <laughs> Mayor Michael Brennan, Mayor of Portland. Mayor? Well, I'm happy to be here on this first Friday in October um, at the event. And it's always a great day in the city of Portland when we have first Friday because yes, so many people yes. turn out to enjoy Congress Street. And one little tidbit fact about where Lincoln Park looks right out over Congress Street. Yeah. And a, a year ago, Congress Street was designated as one of the 10 best streets in the United States. Nice. And we're on the same list with Broadway and... I love uh, Broadway. <laughs> and, and, and King Street in Charleston, South Carolina. We're in good company. So Lincoln Park plays an important role within the city. I like to hear it. And making Congress Street one of the 10 best streets in the United States. Hey, that's a sale. Yeah. And I want to thank you and the friends of Lincoln Park for focusing attention on this because... Uh, 
because of your work and because of your efforts, we're going to figure out some ways to get some resources here to continue to upgrade Lincoln Park and to make sure that it realizes its uh, full potential. But uh, this plays an important part in kind of the complex of City Hall, the courthouse, and the Exchange Street area of Portland. I have music to so, my ears. So, <laughs> it's a, <laughs> so it's a great park, and we're just really excited for you to be here and to do this and keep uh, bringing to our attention how important it is for us to keep investing in the park here. Thank you, Mayor. When I first got elected mayor, Lincoln Park was occupied. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Severin Bellavo, a recent arrival to um, Munjoy Hill, so I travel across this park almost every day. I've noticed the, the improvements that have occurred in the last few months or so, and 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 the um, opportunity that you have here to restore it, I think, which is, I think is, is uh, uh, really impressive. But I also note that the uh, the fountain was was cast in, in France in 1870, and ironically, I happen to be the French consul in Maine, so. There is a connection there. Maybe we can get the French government involved in this, too. Maybe uh, we could. We, That's we a could. wonderful yeah. idea. Yeah, I'll pursue this with them. I'll talk to the French consul and the, and the, and the ambassador and tell them what's happening. Would you sure, please? And you can find me right they, here. What are, the, what are the sources of the funding for this? We're trying to get city funding, and we're also trying to get private funding. What's the budget? Well, we don't know. We think this it's the, to do everything. All the fencing has to be scraped and repainted. The fountain has to be done. Yeah. And the plumbing, the the, the yeah. facade of it. The we need a new spire. I I think this is my own guess. About a million dollars to do the whole thing. Uh, Jonathan Taggart, who's a very well-known sculptor conservator, is right now making an estimate for us in detail for the fountain to be repaired. Right. And uh, Moore and Saradin, the uh, uh, architectural firm, they're doing the, the plumbing. They're, they're estimating what it would take to do reconfigure the plumbing. Right, right. It's a pleasure it's to nice meet you. you well. Thank yeah. you. I'm glad you stopped yeah. by. I've been asked, uh, how do we, the friends of Lincoln Park, go about making our needs known? And our need is to totally restore Lincoln Park to the way it was originally. We want this fountain to once again be referred to as beautiful. A lot of it is with personal letters to people who might want to contribute, maybe even contribute to the complete reconstruction of the fountain or the fencing. All the fencing around here is iron and it was uh, done by the Portland Company. Um, who's become very popular again today. Um, and so, but it needs to be um, scraped and repainted. So that's a major job. But all these things are possible. The pavement needs to be redone. And um, we need more trees. And we need more benches. We have 13 new benches already. For $1,500, you could donate a bench and memorialize it. Uh, have your own personal message. If you'd like more information about Lincoln Park, and we hope you do, go to our website, which is lovelincolnpark.org. It's easy, lovelincolnpark.org.